Hi, I'm Brian Psycho, your Great Falls Public School candidate. Today, I'm going to quickly explain this year's school board election. How many candidates there are, how many votes you get, how many open seats there are on the board, and then stick around at the end of the video where I'll explain some common terminology, I'll define what a trustee is, we'll discuss the mission of the Great Falls Public Schools, as well as the scope of authority that the school board actually has. Let's get started. The Great Falls Public School Board has seven members. These are also called trustees, and I'll explain what that is in just a moment. This year's election is for four out of those seven board member positions. This makes the current year's election even that more important because you're voting for a majority of the board. If you want to influence or change the direction of our school system, this is your best opportunity. Because like I said, you can vote on four new members out of a total of seven in this year's election. So how does this year's election work? This year, you will be voting for three three-year term. You'll also be voting for one one-year term. A common question that I receive is, what exactly is a trustee? Well, that answer is simple. A school board trustee is a school board member. Trustee is simply just the name that Montana law officially recognizes. Another common question is, what exactly is the mission of our public school system? Again, this answer is pretty simple and you can find it right on the GFPS district website. The mission of our public schools is, and I quote, to successfully educate students to navigate their futures. And so you might also be asking, what is the school board's role? Well, the Montana constitution, state law, and the State Office of Public Instruction grants authority to local boards. These local school boards adopt and enforce policy and oversee the management and governance of the entire school district and all of the schools located within that district. This includes all areas and pertains to budget, employment decisions, district boundaries, curricular decisions, the school calendar, extracurricular activities, and the list goes on. You can find a complete list of all the items that the school board is responsible for by searching online for MCA 20-3-324. Now here's a quick fact. Did you know that every classroom in the public school district is required by Montana law to display an American flag that was produced in America? And that for grades seven through 12, copies of the United States Constitution, the Montana Constitution, and the United States Bill of Rights are to be readily available in every classroom. And finally, did you know that Montana state law legally requires that the Pledge of Allegiance be recited in every classroom or in every school over a school-wide intercom system at the beginning of each and every school day? So let's recap. In this year's election, you'll be voting for three people to serve a three-year term each. You will also be voting for one person to serve a one-year term so it's very important that you understand that you are gonna be voting for four people in this year's election on your ballot. Many people have confused this in the past and have only voted for one candidate. However, doing that decreases your say in this representative process and ultimately your voice to be represented on the school board. So make sure you're voting for four candidates. It's very important. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you will share it with your friends and neighbors so that they can be well informed on the voting process for this year's school election. I'm Brian Psycho, representing duty, family, and freedom in this year's school board election. I'm here to empower parents, support teachers, and put our kids' education and safety first. Now be on the lookout for those ballots because they're coming to your mailbox soon. Make sure you vote for four of your candidates and then mail those ballots back or drop them off on election day at the local county election office or at the exhibition hall at the fairgrounds. Thanks Great Falls and God bless.